so that is good to our back in the HDMI that you prayed we prayed with us really things which are happening in Zambia we need God you know there are sometimes when really our our reason and our efforts are just not enough you need God to intervene and we need God to intervene you know so many people have lost lives you know in recent uh, recent days it doesn't mean that he, well, we people uh, uh, we are not dying before and everything yeah accidents happen everywhere but you know it seems it's just too much you know every other day every other day that's why we needed to go to to god um i hope that shimbakamwiri is doing well i offer my sincere condolences uh, for his brothers um, that uh, he lost I also offer my sincere condolences to a number of people that have lost their loved ones in recent uh, days. I mean, the last one being that bus uh, in Kafue, you know, a number of people died there. You know, then there was that family, you know, may, may God really come upon our country and, uh, you know, just redeem our country because really, uh, we are overwhelmed. We are overwhelmed. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. What are we, do what are we talking about? Well, what are we what we are talking about really? For me, what um, uh, first today I want to uh, to to join um, uh, all of you that uh, we are praying today. Today was a holiday; it was a national holiday, and um, it is a day that was set apart that we can come together and pray as a country. I am grateful that today, even President Akainde Ichilema joined. Uh, people in prayers. I think he, he, it's very good. We we should commend what is good, and uh, we should not. I'm not going to take it to say, hey, but he was refusing today. He went to pray. Like I, I saw some some comments on social media. Some people are even asking him, no, he should apologize. No, he, he doesn't need to apologize. He doesn't need to apologize. It's just good enough that uh, you know. Uh, he has realized that uh, such a day is important that uh, we can come together as a nation and pray for our country so it's good if he has realized to say ah, i think the position i took was not was not a good position uh, you don't have to rub it in. Hey, come out and apologize in public. Ah, we, ah, we. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, it's enough. He, uh, he prayed with, uh, with, with all of us. I, I prayed with Zambians. Um, today, I, I, I think I have taken more time in prayers, you know, than, than these other years, you know. I, I took time to pray. I even went to, to church. This is uh, October. It's a month of the rosary. So um, we, the Catholics, uh, take, you know, time to, 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 to reflect on the mysteries of the rosary and pray, you know, and ask Mother Mary to intercede for, for us. I know that is a big issue to some of you. Uh, but we are Catholics. This is what we believe in. This is what we believe in. You may not believe in it. That's that's okay. That's okay. But the fact that you don't believe in something doesn't mean that you know it is it is wrong or it is right. No, I mean issues of religion are, are very difficult. But for us, so I went to I went to I I, I went to to pray. And uh, you know we had these uh, these prayers in the evening. I I was I, I prayed there, and um, yeah, when I came back, that's when I had these phone calls which were going on, uh, you know, and um, yeah, I dozed off. 
and I woke up late. Now, so that is good to our back in the HDMI that you prayed, we prayed with us. Really things which are happening in Zambia. Uh, we need God. You know, there are some times when really our, our reason and our efforts are just not enough. You need God to intervene and we need God to intervene. You know, so many people have lost lives, you know, in recent uh, recent days. It doesn't mean that he, well, we people uh, uh, were not dying before and everything. Yeah, accidents happen everywhere. But, you know, it seems it's just too much. You know, every other day, every other day. That's why we needed to go to, to God. Um, I hope that Shimbakamwiri is doing well. I offer my sincere condolences uh, for his brothers um, that uh, he lost. I also offer my sincere condolences to a number of people that have lost their loved ones in recent uh, days. I mean, the last one being that bus uh, in Kafue. You know, a number of people died there. You know, then there was that family. You know, may, may God really come upon our country and uh, you know just redeem our country because really uh, we are overwhelmed we are overwhelmed then we have these other issues the drought you know the uh, the cost of living uh, suicides how we think it's too much god please uh, help us you know help us and uh, I wish that uh, our government would be focusing more on these issues that will change the lives of Zambians other than, you know, some of the pettiness that is coming from our government. For me, President Haka Inde Ishidema, I want to tell you here, and I've been saying this before, some of the, pro the challenges that we have are beyond even Haka Inde Ishidema. This I will accept. The, some of the challenges that we have are beyond Haka in the HDM. My problem with Haka in the HDM has been that the attitude that he has taken, okay, the attitude that he has taken, instead of focusing on these issues, Haka in the HDM has focused on, you know, uh, persecuting his opponents. Eh? He, has taken, he has taken the attitude of blaming his opponents. Eh? Instead of some of these things just really recognizing, but UPND has never recognized to so say some of these things, I mean, they are just beyond us, you know. For them, they always want to find a way of, you know, blaming, blaming it on, on, on Edgar Lungu, blaming it on the PF, and, you know, trying to divert the attention of the people by uh, persecuting. Uh, those in opposition uh, I mean many of these things that have been happening in our country uh, in, in relation to you know the, the forfeiting of assets the jailing of some of these people we we don't have really crimes real crimes that are attached to these uh, things that they have been getting we don't have real crimes attached to you know the, some of the people that they have been taking to, to jail which is very unfortunate. So Haka in the has focused on that. He has focused on that. And you know, like they say, you know, we are all sinners. It's not that uh, Valungu is, is, a, is an angel or his colleagues are an angel. No. They also had their own flaws. Just like Haka in the has his own flaw. But whenever Haka in the he comes out like he's, he's very clean. Eh? He's very clean. Everything about him is, is, is clean. No, no, no. Eh? I mean, he has even gone to, to an extent of using the state institutions to defend him in his weaknesses. Eh? He has even gone to an extent of recruiting the Inspector General of Police to come and start defending him. <coughs> For example, the issue of Chipo. Mm -hmm. The issue of Chipo. Me, yeah, the issue of, of Chipo, let me tell you. I had said it earlier on. I didn't want to discuss the issue of Chipo. Because that issue is very, very personal. It's personal. Okay? And uh, let's face it. 
uh, when we talk about us men i mean we are weak we are weak and of course even 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 women are also weak so at the end of the day really uh, some of these issues are very difficult for for us to start jumping you know uh you know on a pedestal and start uh, criticizing others and talking too much uh, no me i'm also not innocent uh, so I, you know, I humble myself uh -uh, because I know I'm just a sinner like anybody else, you know. But unfortunately, Vaka in the Ichirema is not uh, is not toiling, you know, that path of somebody that is a sinner. Eh? When I was standing at the court of Musamba to come and start defending uh, uh, Chipo. I am not confirming, I'm not saying yo, chipo shan na shani, eh, chachine, adine fumo, eh, baka in devam. Uh uh. Uh uh. I am just talking pari diriash because, you know, I am mariash, they are as common as our dark skin in Zambia. I am mariash, they are as common as dark skin in Zambia. We are Africans. And as Africans, in Zambia, we are black, and as such, I mean, you don't get surprised when you see a black man like the way they they get surprised when they see when they see us walking around here. The other day, I walked in a in a lift, and there was this girl, and she looked at me like, you know, shocked, and she's, she's telling the parents, it's the first time I'm seeing a black man, you know, uh, 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 physically. You know, I wish I could touch his skin. And imagine today it happened like that. Not uh, not today, anyway, but the other day. But I mean, in, in this modern age, so they are common. They are common. Unfortunately, we we, we don't see Wakapokola coming up and start defending people. A lot of people have been accused of Wuchende. A lot of people have been accused. A lot of people have been accused, you know, of having impregnated or being pregnant and whatever, whatever. A lot of people. We don't see Wakapokola coming in to start defending uh, our people. We don't see people being arrested in the manner that uh, they are arresting people over the issue of Chipo. Right now we are talking, I don't know if Thomas Ziambo has been released. Eh? I don't know if Thomas Zambo has been released, but Thomas Zambo is one of the journalists who runs, um, you know, one of the, the pages, you know, uh, whistleblowers. Thomas Zambo is a journalist, a, a very senior journalist. He was picked up and thrown in mass, mass sales, you know, over this issue of Kwachipo. And I understand some other people have also been rounded up and thrown Mujele, Pavuchende. Buavena Chipo. Eh? I mean, honestly, this is not right. That's why I'm talking. I am talking about this because now it has a story which is supposed just to be dismissed and by Ileka. Now we have Zambians being locked up. You get me right why I'm talking about this because it has gone into human rights abuse. It has gone into human, rab ab uh, human rights abuse. It has gone into an ab abuse of state machinery. This is why I'm talking about it. I'm not talking about it because of whatever. No, I am talking about it because eh? uh -uh. eh? Chirishani baka inde ichirema. Chirishani. Chirishani, chirishani. Why should people be arrested and thrown in muchifungo? Peri ashidia vuchende. Why should it be like that? Why? Why? Ayamari ashiakobati. Ngachakwa tafiri chitika. You know, you just dismiss them. You just dismiss them. Some of us, myself, I mean, uh, me have been called a lot of things. 
have been called the rapist, have been called shani, shani, you know, I want to, but in my social media, kwati, ndara nawa nagashitira mshiko. Eh? My wife has been dragged, look at how my wife has been dragged in this nonsense. Eh? Did Vakapokola come to, to arrest anyone? People were freely, they, not where, they have been, they have been freely following, throwing pictures, editing pictures, eh? Putting my wife in a compromised situation. Even if I, it's not that because I don't have power, even if I had power, there is no way I'm going to arrest people for that. There is no way I'm going to arrest people for that. I know the truth. I know the truth. I know. Hey, 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 Tehali, Chanda Chimba. You, there have been all those sorts, those sorts of things. Hey, this one is sleeping with Tehali's wife. Hey, you don't even know where my wife is. You don't even know where my wife is. Do I have to get agitated? Why do you, why do you get agitated when you know that the story is not true? Why do you get agitated? Why do you get agitated when you know, if you know that the story is not true, why do you get agitated? Like right now, can I get agitated when somebody tells me, no, your wife is uh, uh, sleeping with you, whoever it is, in a hotel, when I know where my wife is? Right now, I know where my wife is. Why should I get agitated if somebody puts up, puts up a, a, a picture on social media to say, the his wife is sleeping uh, with whoever? Eh? I mean, you have said a lot of things. That his wife is sleeping with Mundubide. I mean, who who cares? Why would I care? Why would I care? Would I be worried about Mundubide? Hey, Mundubide, hey, Mundubide is sponsoring Tehadi, and he, and he, he's sleeping with the wife. There are those stories that have that have come out. That that, that have come out. Would I hate Mundubide? Would I have Mundubide arrested when I know where Mundubide is and I know? what Mundubira is doing. I know Mundubira and my wife, they are far apart. Why would I get agitated? Why would I go to an extent of going to report to the police, to an extent of getting the IG to start talking? Why? Why? Eh? Why would I go to an extent of arresting people? Why? And let me tell you now, I've, I've told you that this story started a long time. It started a long time. It came to me just to, when, before it was even in so, on social media. I think when I got the message, first time I got the message, it, I had never seen it on social media. I got a text message telling me a uh, Chipo Mwanawasa is pregnant and he has been impregnated by the boss. And the person that sent me that text message is from State House. The person that sent me this story, the first time I got it, it was on it was it was from somebody from State House. I can even confirm to you the text message that I received. First time it was from State House. And the person, it's not that it's somebody that I don't know, it's somebody I knew. Somebody I knew. So I couldn't even doubt. Okay? In terms of to say, but I should shine and whatever, whatever, because this person works in state house and he sent me this message. And he, afterwards, so of course, I didn't tell him to say I'm not going to run it or anything, I just ignored the story. Okay, I just ignored the story. Then again, unto me a message. So this time around, I called the person, I called the person, I said, ah. Boss, you didn't assume that you insist. How true is it? Moishi Mashani. Say, ah, no. It's too much. Eh? So, Moishi Mashani, I'm going to move me. Tell me, Charo. Ah, I'm going to move me. 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 So, Moishi, tell me, I'm going to move me. Oh, ah, so now, you know, it's I, I, I just said no. I could, I can't, I can't run these stories, you know. When I tell you, I can't run it because it's just too personal. It's too personal. So ah no, chan chan chan. Ah, next thing I started seeing it on social media. Next thing I started seeing it on social media. And uh, again, I didn't comment. 
it came on this program people called me and asked me about this story i i refused to 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 discuss it i refused to discuss it your next path it even hits the headline hey Patrick Mwanawasa. Patrick, Patrick Mwanawasa talking about it. Hey, Iyo, headline. Iyo, boom. Vahaji talking about it. Iyo, I've never in the HDMI. No, I've not impregnated anyone. Now, let me tell you. Ama rumors. If a rumor starts and it is not true, like Iri Ashdi Abushendeli Atamba. If it is not true, just ignore it. Just ignore it. You can't as a state be addressing yourself. Pama rumors. We are These stories come and go. These stories come and go. And this story is not the last one. Eh? Yeah? Yo, wakaunda valenda no yu. Hey, wakaunda valenda no yu. Wakaunda by that time. As powerful as the man he was. Bari vi vali landa po kwa lisa mariashi. Hey, wakaunda. Hey, na wakwato mwa nana shanisha. Wakaunda. Those days. Those days. Hey, ngani wachiru wa mdala wandi. Ya, ya di na wesi. <laughs> ya, di wesi wa mdala. Pika hili plaza. Na vena wa mdala vale mixing, vale mixing, vale mixing. Hey. Can you do magic? Do I feel full, full? Hmm? Nina, who has been spared of that? Who has been spared of that? Eh? But that's why they must stay house now, you know. Why they must stay house now, so if you are kung kung men or kung kung man, you know. But he never bothered. Hmm? But my wife's a fiance. Eh? But my wife's a. Hmm? Gani ba lungu? Hmm? If you are this side of the lungu, eh? Ba lungu, eh? Shani, eh? Chan, Varenda know you, Varenda know you. Eh, Mutale Mwanza, eh, Chanza. Ngani Mutale Mwanza, they are the Kosele Lilesh. We never saw anyone being arrested for it. Eh, no one by Mopadi Lilesh. Mwatoloka Shani, Mwamba Nokola Katawa, and Tichilishan, Finch Village Tika. Finch Village Tika. And Lilesh, they are done Pilemu State House. So if you, Baham Samba, I'm addressing you tonight, that those people that you are arresting, they are actually innocent. The people that you should be investigating, the people that you should be arresting, Vamu State House. Just that, I mean, of course, it's not my job to give you the names. I'm giving you a hint that this story started Mu State House. Katuishu Chengabari Mupata Chipo. I don't know why somebody in State House would come up with this story to talk about Chipo. But our Tampire Didiash Vamu State House. It came from state house. So if you want to arrest people, go and start, go and look in those people about the state house. Aba bombana chipo, aba bombana wakateka. Eva fumishedi ashidi, eva ditampire. Nuti abo mambo kula ikata ikata, kuba kula ikata ikata. Ah ah. Tefo mfiro kuchita. And then I'm wondering, let me also now advise you, if you really wanted to defend the Didiash, the Akwa, the Akwa Chipong, when you come that yo, the Abufi, the Kutam Bafogula of Nyama statement, eh, first to Mune Chipo, Atakano Kamilan, Mune Chipo, Ambokula, eh, Abafiash Vesu, Abafiash Vesu, you are better than the Pefumota, than the Pafiash Wobe, Chilishani, eh, Wamokula Tamushana of Yash Wobe, you have a Fiash Vesu, eh, Puma Fuila, Chavanashani, Chavanashani, ah, ah. Tapadi ule landa tule la papa ule la na wa na wa kai ndei chilema muna ndoa wa fiash pantoa fiashu wa wa difunta uli mo na wa ishu uli mukalamba eh because I mean umu ne chipo aisa ima eh aba fiashu vesu eh poba fuila eh without whatever mm 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 uko kulu fiashu ndei ashi you don't divert the attention you don't draw sympathy la nde pa fiwa bantu ba le landa no tukuta mpukula drawing a sympathy pa pa mfo ya ba fiwa shibobe yo ba fiwa shibandi yo ba fiwa shibandi a a a a a a a bantu ba le landa pe fumo no kwa tu lenda na wakateka if you don't want to defend it shut up otherwise if you want to defend it face it face it if you want to defend it face it evo mvilo kuchita if you want to defend it ya shidi ya uchende come and face it Face it, otherwise shut up. 
otherwise shut up don't start drawing don't try to start diverting attention ngata ukwete fumo ngata ulenda na bamkachi te chite chite come out and face people and tell them to say shut up what you are talking about nishinda no yu muntu njenda no yu chite fin chite fin chite fin chite not to ambo kuleta poe po wa fiashu wa fuira te fuma dela nda po a a ba dela nda peri a shide fumo and what you are supposed to do what you are supposed to do is to address that issue Mwafuma po, eh, ba Patrick Mwanawasa na boba ime. Iwa Patrick Mwanawasa, usheka, kutuwa, can you be, can you bear witnesses to, oh, ule lala lankashi owe, can you? Can you, because you people who are standing up trying to defend this story, the issue is, can you stand up and defend a chip or anyone, oh, ule lala lankwe, eh? I mean, you are looking just stupid, I'm telling you. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot stand uh, uh, as witness to say, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't come out in public and tell no. If you know the story and you, you know the truth, just shut up, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. Because even, even, I mean, you'll be stupid to come out and say, Awe, Awe, Fiabufi, Fiabufi, Fiabu, Ngo Alishi Watu Fiabufi, Lava Kofi, Fila Bekofi, Fila Bekofi. Eh? Not Wambo Kuima. Awe, yo, Mundi will tell you now, Kashuobe, they do wish you. Shut up. Just leave it. If you can't, you don't come in public. That must be my point. If you know the truth, you don't come in public. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. And you cannot, and anybody cannot come up and stand up. You cannot come up in public and start defending. If you know your wife is not doing that, just embrace your wife. Kiss your wife, hug, and you know, that's it. You don't have to come to the public because you can't get it. You can't get it. If you don't have to come to the public, you can't get it. You know, in secret. So, how do you come and start defending this story? How come you want to, 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 to give us a story which you and I can get Patrick Manasa to talk with Pusha? Okay, I want to come to the public. I want to come to the public. I want to come to Kutu wa lumbula, eh? Kutu wa you can't, eh? Na wa boman, na wa 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 pimpa, wa boman, wa chafu wa nchimbi chimbi, wa yoku wa yoku wa yoku wa yoku wa yoku, eh? I think Milan do wa bika wa boman, muna nchini shire mu frunga nyo boman, losing power, ni Milan do ampe, shire mu frunga nyo boman, hmm. But boman na nguchi tesha, nguchi tesha, ha, wale kulonga. <laughs> so just shut up. Just shut up. Eh? From there, kirikiti, kirikiti, kirikiti. Ah, oh. Ba I jinu ba ba ivi kapu. Na afala na my uniform. Eh? The moment you bring in the state machinery number, munishimwa Twitter. Munishimwa Twitter now you want us, all of us, to, na fwe ba de kano kulanda po, you want us to discuss it. We want us to discuss it. The moment you bring in the state machinery, the moment the IG start talking about it, and people being arrested, I mean, we have no choice. We have to come out or we come and talk. The best that you should have done, if really you wanted to defend this, it was to bring out Chipo in public. How to refute if you Ahamone kila kubani tuna na karufu mwaka kwa kalanga kwa wati eh eh mweba lewa ti shan shan eh Chipo is very beautiful she's very beautiful she's not camera shy either she's not camera shy she has been taking pictures why didn't you just allow you know pictures to go around abantu wa mwana ta hawa yu balena ndapoi ta kwe tefumo ta kwe tefumo eh eh Kumu nekera, you know, amu nekera, amu nekera chipo. No mamu ikari ya mule mu defenda fe chipo, mule mu defenda fe chipo, but mule mu fisa. People will never believe. 
people will not believe mufumye ni chipo nga mwalimu mufumye chipo ni labi nyebalera ndati yo chipo na mtu makufiaro eh hey, because na kwa tefumo shan 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 na, nga mwalimu mufumye chipo ida inedite mwa mufumye abantu wa mumona yes mamo kutu wa ndati yo hali mufumye ndi whatever whatever eh, eh, well but at least <laughs> at least that is a good difference if it is so important, if it was so important, what ship was supposed to do, if it was so important, what ship was supposed to do is to pray for a, to, to call for a press conference whereby Amonekera, Amonekera, Chipo, you, Takuitama Pimpo, Inkanda Yakota, Terere, Amonekera. I want to know that we are here, we know you. Nango, we are here, we are here. Eh? Not if you are here, we are here. Pua, arresting people, arresting people. You move IG, Mamu and the Pauchen, the Waka, Waka and Tantani, before the Tranda Pauchen, the Wenu. Because Namoku police could do a dimfua. Eh? To a dimfua, Muka Pokola, Avai, Chevala Varia, too much. We know, we hear these stories. We hear these stories. The other time I even heard Waka Pokola, Valerua, Mufo said good as Mudiokulua, Waka Pokola. They were fighting. I heard that story. I hate that story, but uh, you know, you just ignore it. You just ignore it. So, in way, what you are doing, this is the wrong way of doing it. This is abusing the state machinery, abusing human rights, whereby you start bringing your IG to defend Uchende. Uchende wa IG, you cannot bear witness to Uchende. You can't. People are abusing, people are bullying. I mean, how many people are. I, 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 I abused and bu and bullied in this way. Now, but when in there and the so party are going to make want to bring some messages, more or less, are going to say, "Hey, rapist! Hey, your wife, whatever." I mean, this is part of public life. This is part of public life. And if you want to defend it, don't start by intimidating people, because if you start intimidating people, then you will be able to achieve it. And when you start intimidating people, so it really is the way you have handled it. You have handled it. You have handled it. You have handled it. The way you have handled it. You have handled it. The way you have handled it. You are basically confirming that Chipo is impregnated by Haka in the Chima. That's what you are doing. It is not the public that is confirming it. It is you. The people that have sold, that have given credence to this story. It is you. The way you have reacted. It coming as a headline, eh? and the, uh, the diggers, they know very well. They know very well. But diggers would not run a headline on a story that uh, they believe it doesn't make sense. They will not run a headline. They will not. Even when they know the diggers, they know that this story is actually true and everything. They will not run a headline. The diggers, they have known about some of the corruption. But diggers are one of the first people that I told the story of Sylvia Masebo relating to, you know, that hundred million corruption. Eh? That hundred million dollars, they were the, one of the first newspapers that I told that story. They, you never saw it. You can go and check. You will not see a story, you know, to say, Tahari has said this. You won't see it. You won't see it because they know the moment they bring it out, you know, it, it, it catches fire. It grows like bushfire. They don't do that. They don't put a headline. So, in a, seeing that headline, new diggers, the new diggers, they were also telling us that there is a story here. I'm a journalist, especially news diggers. It is run by experienced journalists. They are defending you, but sometimes they are actually telling a story. News diggers putting that headline, putting a headline, a big headline, that headline was not defending Chipo. It was confirming the story. From there, whatever IG. Ukwisaf manachi uniform chavo wale landa. They were confirming the story. Intimidating people. Don't talk about it. Muse vanyo you. So if there are people that are bullying Chipo, it's not us, the public. It is not those people that you are arresting. 
it is you people. And like I've told you, the stories came from State House. You should be asking yourself, why did the people in State House leak this story to the public? Why did they bring it to the store to the public? And why are you agitated to the point of arresting even a journalist for, for goodness sake? Even a journalist for goodness sake, Mwamu Ikata. Why? And you are rounding up other citizens. Why? Tamule Tulanga Chipo, Mufunye ni Chipo. Iwe Chipo li kui saa. Walele mbo tuma statement, tuma statement. Fumo mo ne kile kuwa ntata ukwe te fumo. Eh? You want to you want us to discuss this story? Nobody can do me ever. Fuma chipo money kile kuwanda diyo ta ukwe te fumo. Fuma utulange. Fumo utulange. I'm challenging chipo to come up and defend this story. Kare fumo le fwaya. Mule fwa tulande po. So tre fuku mi eba number. How you defend this story? Come out in public and tell the people. Ah, ine eba ne. Mune ni panoni. Dikuisa. Eh? Kutu wafuala na kabikini Muna fuala na kabikini Nontuma mini mwafuala Muna fuala mwafuala Mwamo nekira Kuwanda Not now Sama kuwendo Eh? Eh? Nisha nisha Eh? Habu waka inde ichi ni ma Ah I went home Eh? Habu kashwari nje vati I'm told I'm not at home I mean Come on Oh, oh I mean we know Tongas We know our uh, women uh, Which woman is going to To run away from a from from a, a husband who is a president because now what I mean, which woman is going to run away? Eh? Na ngufiwa kashivandi. Kuti wabu tuka. Na panope ni wala kano kumbu tuka. No mbanga na wana kateka. Eh? Tura firufianya na ifobe ni ndike ninyewe. Tura firufianya. Tua firufianya. Tua firufianya. Eh? Na namba turi na wu. <laughs> eh? Eh? Shupo fiali shupo. If you put a fiali wangu kukupua. Eh? Because you ngumula sabayina. You know, look at me. Eh, Alan Tuana Savai, eh, Daddy, eh, 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 Avakash Wadi Musha, Wadi Musha, what one? How do I prove it that Avakash Wadi Tavaj? I show you pictures. Next, I will show you picture. Ninkum Batana Navakash Wadi. Mamma, and I would have a Musha. Eh, why, Wakash Wakawadi, Avakash Wakawadi, Mkashwand, Tito in the moon, Munenkene, Munsebo. We walk in the streets, we walk in the mall, and you see us. We don't come on social media. Ah, we, ah, we, what? You don't do that. I can't bear witness. I can't bear witness. I just shut up. I shut up. And since I know that it is not true, I continue living with my wife. So, you know, what you are doing is total nonsense. Even me. Even, even <laughs> Mutare Mwanza, for example. Mutare Mwanza was also being accused this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. She used to confront those issues. She used to confront those issues. Eh? Not what you are doing. Not what you are doing. And I'm very upset because you are arresting people. I am very upset that you are using state machinery to defend you. You never do that to Aka in the HDMI. You don't. You don't, and this story, if it is not true, it is not the first, it's not the last. In the last, other people have been accused, and other people will be accused. You just keep quiet. You just keep quiet. Eh? You just keep quiet. You don't come out like that. We are not bullying you, Chipo. You are not bullying you, Chipo. You somehow have exacerbated this situation to bring it to the level at which you are. And it just shows because Chipo, you are not. Who is Chipo? Yes, she's a she's a child of a former president. Yeah, we can give her that. She's working in state house, but surely, surely, her rumors are not anything bigger than other rumors that have been there. That it has to take the IG to come and talk about it. It can only take the IG to come and talk about it if you are intimidating people. Pardon for Mulefisa. And my challenge tonight is that since you want to discuss this story, you want to convince people. Me, I want Chipo to come out and let him let Chipo be seen to by to, by you know by people that he is Chipo. Eh, let's Chipo because even a woman to court, whenever to court, you think you can go and prosecute such a case? You think you can prosecute such a case? Where there is justice, just that you need to talk about justice, but where there is justice, can you prosecute this case? 
because it will take only a few good questions to chipo on the stand chipo when did you last have eh whatever when did you last do it no i've never done it you have never done it can we have a doctor to examine you if you have not done it eh if you have done it who did you do it with eh who did you do it with you would have she would have to produce who or they, come on you can't bring such stories in court name you can't eh? you can't things which are not supposed to, to grace you know our public and draw their attention effort to run up we are not supposed to be talking about which uh -uh. we're not supposed to be talking about which we're supposed to be talking about national issues national issues not if you manage death Eh? And you by UPND, Alamreo now the Charlo. Mreo now the Charlo Pantifin Trance, Nam Fiangusha. Nam Fiangusha. You have simplified government to personal, to personalities, to, you know, to emotions. That's where you have taken our country. We are busy grappling with, you know, personal issues. Because if a judge body body could ruling the they ruled against you, you say pakambali bure. These three judges, it's not about all this nonsense that they are talking about. There are no argument. It's all about fixing judges that almost made Haka in the Ichima to cry in court. Judge Stari, Mungeni, Palan Mulonda. These judges, they are being fixed and they have been fixed. Because Haka in the Ichirema almost cried before them during that hearing, yeah, yeah, 14 days. In that 14 days, Haka in the Ichirema, Charlie Mukalipanda was in court. I was standing just a few meters from Haka in the Ichirema when he took the stand in court. He almost cried now, I'm there at GBM. And Umwa Vele Fintu, Leroy is president and he has gone back to fix those judges those judges are paying for the 14 days and from oh, what we are hearing those judges are gone they are gone not because of misconduct not because of misconduct they are going because because of the 14 days and the issue of eligibility of Edgar Chagwalungo has reminded him. Oku konsetwa fumoku, adi bakwa tala bako. No mbapa, because of eligibility case, ayu kisha. Tarifwa ba lungo kwa tibake minine, he doesn't want Edgar Lungo to stand. So now, he has remembered, hey, these judges can make you cry again. But why should they make, make me cry when I'm president? No. I will remove them. Personal. Personal. Nothing to do with the nation. No. Nothing to do with the nation. So these judges are going, but they are going not because of misconduct. They are going because Haka in the is fixing them, is flushing them out. It is not about, you know, I was hearing uh, this guy who has reported them to say, no, they are not qualified. How can you say these judges were not qualified? These are some of the senior judges. They have been there for a long time. But we have Shirimi. Uda judge Shirimi. Anoj Shirimi. Muetua. That judge, that judge, who is the, the deputy judge to uh, uh, Women's League uh, chairperson, uh, uh, Margaret Munarula, Shirimi is, is the vice Mukonstitutional Court. Shirimi was a businessman. He was a businessman. We don't know of Shirimi uh, being in court arguing cases. We don't know of Shirimi doing that. He, was, he has been a businessman running companies. I think he runs a, a meeting company or something like that. He was, he was a businessman sponsoring UPND. Even, even, you know, helping Haka in the But this is the person that Haka in the chose to become a judge and put him as a deputy president of the constitutional court. 
a man who we don't have the history of him being on the bench first of all you know we don't have because to become a judge you need to be to have been uh, you know practicing for some years not a person who is coming from the business uh, whatever and boom is a judge and is a is a deputy president and i'm sure our <laughs> other people came when I remember my judge's name, other people came. Eh? I remember uh, 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 Isaac Mwanza. Isaac Mwanza challenged some of these judges, especially Shirimi. He challenged Shirimi to say, this person is not qualified to be a judge. He's not qualified. But Pala Nimulonda, you ruled in favor of the president. You ruled in favor of the president. And now... It has come on you now that they, they are challenging you and you are not being saved. Sometimes you knew that what Isaac Mwanza was saying was true, but you ruled against Isaac Mwanza. It has turned around, it has come against you. It has turned around, it has come against you. And you, they will not have mercy on you. They will kick you out. Eh? This is this is how bad things are. It's too personal. I can't but send the charo but charo chavo. What charo chavo? He has to do. He will do whatever he wants, which is very unfortunate because if my thing too, if he, this is personal, eh? You know, you, you deal with them differently. Yes, we have to appeal. Even me, I got when I will be president. There are people that I will be considering. I have got friends. That's just a matter of fact. I've got friends. And they will come for favors. And I'll, I'll have to help them. But help them properly. Rashidimi, you shouldn't have put him on uh, as, a, as a, a judge. And on top of that, deputy deputy president. No. Eh? Even with Margaret Munarula. I mean, she has all the qualification and everything. But really, you know, to remove her and put her there, you know, person it is really really sad and especially with this uh, uh, eligibility thing I'm wondering could you can do this eligibility thing could you can do back in the is doing everything that he can to bar Edgar Chagwalung but I want to conclude on this one before I open the phone lines I want to conclude on this one that you know this issue of eligibility, this issue of eligibility, if we are not careful, it is going to cause serious problems for our country. It is going to cause serious problems for our country. You know, when you have power, keep it well. Because it is easy to lose power. When people, when people rise up, it's very difficult to bring them back. A lot, a lot of people now, don't cheat yourself that people are excited about the President Haka in the HDM. A lot of people are suffering because of the harsh economic uh, reality that we have. A lot of people are suffering. And they have got that pressure. So, anything one day will trigger people to rise up. Anything might trigger people to rise up. Things in Zambia are not okay. A lot of people are suffering. They are going through challenges. Our young people are going through challenges. So as they are going through challenges, they are frustrated. They want, you know, to get out the steam that is in them. They want to get it out. And if this government is not careful, they will give these people an opportunity to rise up. And once people rise up, the very peace that you are enjoying today would be like a mystery would be like what just happened what just happened we were okay what just happened so you don't take people for granted you don't take people for granted the issue of edgar lungo is a very sensitive issue is a very sensitive issue it is a matter that you are not supposed to mishandle in the way you are mishandling it. You might think, yes, we have got power. We are going to stop Edgar Chagwalungu. Edgar Chagwalungu might not even be the issue. 
he might not even be the issue. But by the fact that you buy him might cause, you know, the already filled up cup to overflow. The already filled up cup to overflow. That drop might just make the country overflow. You should have left because in the supporter, it gets a Gualungu. No, no. I'm saying this for the good of my country because I know that people are suffering. And doing this might cause problems. You would rather let Ed Galungu be on the ballot. And even since you are in power, you have to work so hard or do whatever you have to do to say Ed Galungu Narusa. You would rather have Ed Galungu on the ballot. Elo Mwanyunya. You rig the elections and you come out to say, ah, not win, ah, Ed Galungu Nalusa. You would rather do that. You would rather have Ed Galungu pa ballot box, elo mwa munyunya, mwa riginga. Because you are in power and you are good at this. You did it in 2021. Stopping Ed Galungu from contesting, this might cause serious problems. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.